What's up guys? This is a Perkin knife review and before I go any further, this video is sponsored by Perkin Steel Perkin Knives out of the UK. They are one of my sponsors officially now. So I promised him I would get out in the North Woods in Wisconsin and I would test out his new knife that he just came out with. Let's talk about this knife really quick. First of all, it's $24.99 on Amazon guys. Well worth the money. It comes with a nice leather sheath. It's not too absolutely fancy, but it's got the dangler. I just backpacked it in on my waist about two and a half miles, and it was very comfortable. It wasn't bouncing around. A very beautiful knife, guys, for $24.99, worth every penny. Let's talk about this knife really quick. And then we're gonna work some magic on it. So, very beautiful knife, guys. Beautiful handle. I love all the artwork on it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful Perkin knife, guys. And you guys know I do budget knife reviews, so. Now the spine, it's a little bit thinner of a spined knife and it's got that taper at the top here. Very nice looking knife, guys. We're gonna do some, uh, some feather sticking. So let's talk about the knife a little bit, guys. So the blade length is five inches. The handle is four inches. It's a full tang. Micarta handle, 420C stainless steel blade, Overall length is nine inches. The width is 1.1 inches. Guys, that's typically a little bit skinnier than I'd like to play with um, for, for bushcrafting. Uh, this would be a good knife for hunting, fishing, and feather sticking and stuff, but not batoning, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. Um, so the blade's length, we already know that. It's 420 stainless steel. The handle material is micarta. This is the reason why I would not baton with this knife. The hardness is only 50 to 52 on the Rockwell scale, guys. Most of my Perkin knives that I bring out and bushcraft with, um, they're 56 to 58 on the Rockwell scale, and that's pretty hard. This one's a little bit softer, but it is still, nonetheless, a really nice looking knife. Full tang hunting knife, and it comes with a leather sheath. Um, the weight is 9.9 .9 ounces. And like I said, all in all not a bad looking knife i really like the handle you see the pins really nice artwork in the pins very very well done no mistakes the blade is flawed it's got that little notch for your finger it feels really good in the hand it's a really really light knife guys like i said here's the the spine it's got that nice taper right here it's just a really all in all a good looking knife um, you know, Perkin needs to work on their shees a little bit, but that's okay, guys. The shees are not important to me. They're not doing the work. They're just carrying the knife. So let's get into, uh, do some, some moving around here. Let's do some, uh, feather sticking and see how this goes. Very, very sharp knife. I brought some, uh, Moretti Outdoors Fatwood. And let's get some feather sticking going here and see how this goes. Nice. Very, very sharp, guys. Very sharp. Nice curls. Ooh, this wood is nice and wet still. Got some nice curls here. Very nice curls. Look at that. Beautiful. So very good for feather sticking. Like I said, a very good knife for hunting. A very good knife for fishing, cleaning fish. Um, of course I have, you know, other knives from Perkin that I use for, for hunting and cleaning fish. Um, we'll get into that more here when winter comes and I start doing some more ice fishing. Um, this is more going to be of a, a summer knife for me, but I wanted to get this out here as promised. And since they are one of my sponsors, I want to satisfy my sponsors. Obviously this is a, a paid video, so... Just look at that, guys. It's like butter, man. And I'm using every every part of the blade, and it's just cutting it like butter. I mean, it's... Look at that, man. I mean, what more could you ask for? That is just a beautiful, beautiful thing. And after I clean it up and wipe it off, I'm not seeing any nicks in the blade. The blade looks beautiful. Just all in all, a good knife, guys. Like I said, when I get out ice fishing, I might try to use this to clean some fish. It's going to be good, good for cleaning deer and uh, cutting hide back because it's got that tapered that tapered um, spine right here at the tip. I better get back there 
you know, behind the meat and the, in the hide if I get a chance to harvest a deer tonight, uh, this, this winter. Hopefully everything goes good. But yeah, guys, there it is. $24.99 on Amazon. Guys, Perkins Steel, I mean, it's a budget knife company, guys. Their knives are high quality. I'll put, a, uh, you know, a budget Perkin knife up against these $300 knives any day because I have over a half dozen Perkin knives and I've used every one of them out here. And I'm not having any problems. People are saying, oh, they're junk. Oh, they're no good. That's a lie. It's just a downright lie. So, guys, go on Amazon. Check it out. Link below in the description. $24.99. This is one of their newer knives. Guys, check it out, man. Please. Like I said, I'm up here in uh, North Woods, Wisconsin, in total bear country. Um, we hiked in about 1.6 miles, and then we did a, a one-and-a-half-mile loop around uh, Big Manitou Falls and Little Manitou Falls. Actually, from our campsite, you can hear Little Manitou Falls roaring over the edge. It's a 60-foot drop, and uh, Big Manitou Falls is a 165-foot drop. You guys seen that video already. So that's where we're at, guys, and I just want to thank everybody for sticking around, and thank you very much for supporting my channel. Um, I want to thank Perkins Steel personally, guys. Thank you very much for sponsoring me and sponsoring this video. All right, guys, God bless. Go wild. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.